Hi and welcome to the third video about the German meat dishes. This time, because it's the beginning of the season, we will be concentrating on wild game dishes. At the beginning of this video, I would like to show you very briefly that in Germany you can buy salami or knacker that is made with wild meat mixed with pork that you can enjoy on your bread or bread roll. And you also can buy wild game bratwurst that is also usually mixed with pork. They are also offered in the German restaurants. Last year I had a wonderful wild game bratwurst made of deer. The bratwurst was fresh, prepared in the pan like the Germans do. And by the way, if you don't know how to prepare the bratwurst traditionally, I have made a video about it. The bratwurst was served with super delicious pan fried potatoes as well as lingonberries and this is a must ingredient when serving wild game dishes here in Germany and because it was already late autumn they served it with a cooked Brussels sprouts with some bacon. What a treat, I hope they're gonna have it this year too. Another popular wild game dish would be wild game meatball. This one we had in one of our favorite restaurants in Bavaria. Unfortunately, I don't know how they make it, but I can tell you that those sauces are just delicious. So apart from the obvious lingonberries, we've got whipped cream and two kinds of sauces. We have here delicious white chantarelle sauce, which is very savory. And the brown one is actually amaretto sauce. That's a bit sweeter. One of the meatball was served on the potato pancake and the other one with croquettes. Here in Germany, we tend to serve strong flavored meat with a small amount of sweetness anyhow, because they do go so well together. In Bresse's garden, we had wild game meatball served with a jacket potatoes and a wild sauce that was made with, with leek. As you can see, this variation was less spectacular, but also incredibly delicious. The German chefs also like preparing schnitzel from a wild game. So as you can see, this is this lovely schnitzel that had very interesting breading because it was breaded not only with flour, egg and breadcrumbs, those bread breadcrumbs were actually mixed with grounded hazelnuts. You could taste that the breading had a different flavor and it was extra crispy. I mean, what a great idea! The schnitzel was served with a braten soße, so a dark sauce that was made from wild game fond, as well as spätzle, brussels sprouts and lingonberries. And this is schnitzel without breading. This one was only fried in the pan. And similar to the meatball, it was served with two kinds of sauces, one the chantarella one and the other one was the amaretto one. In the middle of the dish you can see sweet pear from the can that was filled with lingonberries and covered with a whipped cream. But what I also really love about this dish, it's because those spätzle were served with a ground hazelnut. It is really such a great idea to serve spätzle with a wild game. The most popular wild game dish that is served in many restaurants in this season is goulash. I make one with red deer meat. In the German restaurants, they usually use wild boar or venison to create this dish. And as you know, goulash is a referred to meat uh, that is simmered over a longer period of time with a large amount of onions. And this is also in this case. I always add to my wild game goulash a bit of wine, a bit of tomato paste and the wild game fond. Standard seasoning like bay leaf or allspice. And I love also to add some thyme and cloves because those give this dish this extra flavor. And as you can see on the screen, I like serving my wild game goulash with uh, croquettes, some uh, broccoli, as well as pear from the can filled with lingonberry jam. And here I wanted to show you very quickly how the wild game goulash is served in the German restaurants. So on the screen we've got the hazelnut spätzle, the roast sauce and chantarelle sauce, as well as obligatory lingonberries. 
And actually last week I went to the restaurant and I found there wild game braten. This one was the Franconian restaurant, so the braten was served with a wonderful Franconian potato dumplings and red cabbage prepared obviously the German way, so a bit sweeter with some apples. The sauce that the chef used was definitely a red wine sauce and I could taste some thyme and myron in it. The meat was so tender and I think that would be great to make this dish on one of the advent Sundays. I really need to plan it because I loved this idea so much. And also from the venison tenderloin, we make geschnitzeltes, which are the stripes of the tenderloin that are fried in butter with thyme until tender. The sauce is made out of onions, flambet with a little bit of cognac, of course. Then we add some red wine and a lot of cream, of course. We have already filmed this dish for our Christmas video because it was actually our Christmas dinner. Our lovely venison stripes were served with a butter spätzle and of course a lingonberry jam. From venison, the German chefs also make the venison medallions. Those venison medallions I have eaten in Algoy and those were served with uh, broccoli and also this wonderful sauce that was made with chantarelle and cream. And here you can see the lovely spätzle that were served with butter. This lingonberry jam was very interesting because it was mixed with pears. The medallions were very tender, but they were also pretty thin and not medium, as you can see on the screen, but they still did taste incredibly good. So I ate them without complaining. So I really hope that this video inspired you to cook something nice in this season. Here in Germany, as you've seen, we use a lot of hazelnuts, lingonberries, pears, whipped creams to serve this particular meat. But what I want to know from you is how you serve your wild game dishes. Next week, we will come back to cooking and I will be talking about how I save time when cooking traditional German dishes. Please stay safe, happy cooking and safe travels. I can't wait to see you next week. Bye!